Hello, my name is David Israel, and I'm here to give you an update of everything that went down today. In case you miss any of the headline, uh, you know we are in a period in that season whereby everybody is running everywhere. Everyone, anyone, everybody wants to be the president <laughs> of Nigeria. So everybody is running everywhere, and we are in that season whereby you're going to be hearing a lot of things, especially from pastors. You're going to be hearing a lot of prophecies. You're going to be hearing a lot of people saying they heard from God. They hear him from God. I hear from God. God told me. God told me this is what will happen in 2023 presidential election. So uh, this is an headline: Victory sure or not? Nigerian pastor reveal what God told him about Tinubu's 2023 presidential ambition. Reverend Dr. David Hoyendiron has remarked on Ashiwaju Tinubu Ahmed presidential ambition ahead of 2023. He said that God, God revealed to him that Tinubu will rule Nigeria constitutionally and that there will be peace and significant improvement in the country's economy. The Lagos-based general superintendent of our glorious vision, World Outreach Ministry, recalls some previous prediction that came true. So, he said that it's going to be a nice time for the country if Bola Ahmed Tinubu become the president of Nigeria. We are watching. Uh, another headline says that Boko Haram fighters return to Bono Highway, searching the searching they, they search vehicles for security personnel. They are searching spikers. They're looking for the security personnel. I don't know why they're looking for them, but you know what Bukura Haram, you know what they do. Well, the president has finally came out. President Mahmoudou Buhari came out that Nigeria insurgency will come to an end. Finally, Buhari revealed what Nigeria is when Nigeria insurgency will come to an end. President Buhari of Nigeria has indicated when the country's peace will be totally restored. The president told Nigerians that the war against terrorism will be different in the months ahead as the country will achieve peace. Meanwhile, during the inauguration of the presidential committee to turn resettlement and internal displaced person, the president made this promise known to Nigeria that things will change, things will be different in a few months from now. So Nigeria should be expecting something different than high anything in security in Nigeria by fire by force if they cancel that things will change where you will be hearing a lot of promises from i think for the past for more than 20 years we'll be hearing promises upon promises and uh hey let's keep hoping because what nigeria does what we do is we hope we hope we we we, we hope and we hope and we hope and nothing happened that's why people like uh, Shouwere has been in the struggle for a long time. He's been hoping, 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 expecting Nigeria to change. And all of a sudden, the guy resorts, okay, I think there's time. I mean, the, the time is now for revolution. But then we're still hoping, we're still hoping, we're still hoping, based on their promises for us. So that is what Buhari said, that Nigeria insurgency will come to an end. Also, the Emirates announced resumption of Nigeria and Dubai flight. Emirates airline flag carrier said on Wednesday, February 2, 2022, that the passengers' flight between Nigeria and Dubai will resume on Saturday, February 5, 2022. So if you are the kind that want to, you want to uh, travel, well, you can fly now. Diana Koto reveals why APC convention may not hold in February. Says that the whole Progressive Congress, APC, has failed to notify the Independence National Electoral, Electoral Commission, Heineck, of their national convention in, in February. The party has only three days to notify Heineck. Or else the event will be postponed, or the procedure will have to start all over. Festus Okoye, INA Commissioner, stated that the commission is unaware of the planned convention because it has yet to receive information from the party. And that's why Dino, may, uh, Dino always come out, always come after them, always tell us that these people, they are just, uh, they are another NGO, <laughs> NGO organization. Uh, no, no convention will be, will be, they won't hold any convention. Well, that's Dino, now Dino talk out. Anyway, national support. Northern PDP governor gets major endorsement to succeed Buhari. Sule Lamidi is former government of Jigawa state.
has stated that he and his team are capable of reaching out to all Nigerians in favor of Governor Amino Tambuwa presidential bid. On Tuesday, February 1st, Lamido <laughs> reaffirmed his support for the governor of Sokoto. <laughs> of Sokoto, if he makes his intention no. Lamido stated that the country requires a leader like, like Tambua who can bring all of the country regions together. Another headline from a governor, one of the governors, said that no more nobody more qualified than me to be Nigerian president. Governor boasts the question of who will succeed Buhari in the upcoming election is still being debated. Therefore, Governor Wiki has declared that he is more suited, that is more suited to lead the country's most powerful position, the presidency ahead of 2023. The River State's governor, who is expanding his political domain, stated that he possesses all the necessary qualifications to control and to lead the country, to lead Nigeria. And lastly, for today, in Namde Kano, <laughs> cut slam federal government's huge fan in case against a high hobby leader called Hercules. On Wednesday, February, the federal government was, or, was ordered to pay in Amdekano's associate 200,000 Naira. During a hearing of the lawsuit against Kano associates, the federal, the federal High Court in Abuja imposed the fine. Due to the absence of the government's late counsel, Saib in court, Justice Binta in Nyanko imposed the fine. And we are waiting for the next court's they for him and Bicano, uh, we want to believe that the government will do what they have to do. I mean, let's all these things go the way it's supposed to go. Don't just keep the man in, in detention for, for, for nothing. Just, hey, this should be done by now. But then I, I, I my opinion, I sense they're just trying to keep the man in, they're trying to keep him in detention probably till after this administration is done till after election but then of what use because whatever is going to be happening when he's out is still happening anyway so nothing change nothing change so hey let the courts do what they got to do let the let, let them finalize things because hey it's taking so much time man picking need his freedom i beg so we hope to see him out soon Thank you everybody for watching. God bless you. This is just a quick update and you, you'll be hearing from me tomorrow. Uh, you know, the, everybody is confused, even Facebook confused. For Facebook to be, to be saying, uh, to be saying bandits, they be organization. Say one, they bully bandits. They now put flag on my page. They put flag on the page, say bandits. Now, nah, organization say a person they bully them. So, Facebook they confuse Nigerian government, they confuse police, they confuse everybody, just they confuse. So, because I don't know when bandits they become an organization where person they bully. I beg.